Okay, uh, very quick lesson for you this morning of how to use the new mute function um, within uh, Twitter. I'm also going to show you this wicked other little tool that you can use called Tweetbot, which has a better mute function availability. So um, let me just go through the first one. So first thing you need to do is log into Twitter. Um, then if you come down and you can either search for the person that you want to mute. Um, and if I just show you where it is, let me just pick somebody random. Um, so let's pick Ian Calvert. So I'm going to go on to you, Ian. Ian, by the way, I'm not going to mute you. I'm just going to show people how to do it. So apologies for that. So you just click on their profile. Then you come over to the little cog. You've got a nice little cog here. And you can just come down to where it says mute Ian Calvert. So then you haven't unfollowed him. Um, if you haven't unfollowed him, so he won't know that you are muting him. But you won't see any of his tweets in your news feed. So if you've got somebody that perhaps tweets a bit too much, um, but you don't want them to be offended by you unfollowing them, then you literally can just mute them. It's very similar to the hide functionality in Facebook and also the hide functionality in LinkedIn. I must admit that I'm a bit of the opinion, you know, why on earth would you follow somebody that you don't want to see their tweets? So, so, so to me, it sort of doesn't make sense. Um, but I want to introduce you to another project called Tweetbot. Uh, if I just go onto their website... Okay, Tweetbot uh, for the iPhone. Um, I think they probably do it for Android as well. I'm sure they probably do download in the App Store. Now, I use Tweetbot, and Tweetbot is fantastic because, yes, it has a mute function, but it's not muting a person. So you can mute all different sorts of things. So you can mute phrases. You can actually mute particular URLs. So, you know those paperly things where people automate their... Um, you know, this week the Julia Doherty Weekly is out. I need, I need to turn one off. I really do. Uh, but you can mute various different um, functionalities within Tweetbot, uh, and I just find it brilliant. So for me, I recruit. Um, I, I follow a lot of recruitment agencies, but I actually don't want to look when they're tweeting jobs. So if they're hashtagging the word jobs, I can actually um, block out that hashtag, so I don't see any tweets that have got the word hashtag job in it. On, um, on my iPhone. So Tweetbot 3 is a great functionality, but if you do want to use the, just the normal one, I think Twitter can do so much better with this functionality, but at least they're heading in the right direction. So that's the new Twitter mute function. Um, so use it on Twitter to mute people, or check out Tweetbot 3, which is the new, uh, it's not a new app, it's a great iPhone app to it, enable you to mute particular keyword and phrases. Okay, that's me signing out for another day. Hope this helps a little bit. See you soon. Bye-bye.